So welcome to this video where I will explain you the working, how to work with the Arduino LFO ADSR. So what I've got here is basically a simple synthesizer. It's got a control voltage MIDI module which uses the MIDI signal that comes from my keyboard here and converts it to a control voltage that drives those to oscillators. Those will generate a tone, these get mixed together, I have a delay module and I have a filter module and eventually everything ends up at this speaker which produces the sound. So my keyboard that I have here I will only use to generate MIDI signals so it's a very nice keyboard but I will only use the, the actual keyboard part of it to generate MIDI notes that get sent through this cable to the MIDI module of little bits and that will generate control voltages that will generate tones. So how does this sound right now? I will turn the delay off and set the filter completely open and then we have this. So here I have the little bits Arduino module. Um, there's two other modules attached to it. One is the keyboard module which we will not use as a musical keyboard but we will use it as uh, a device that will send control voltages which will tell us which parameter we want to modify. So every button on this keyboard I have mapped to a parameter of the Arduino LFO ADSR and the value of the parameter is actually controlled by these two trimmer pots. This is actually a very complicated setup to basically just make a dimmer because I don't have a dimmer yet in my little bits uh, set. So you can just ignore everything that's here, just treat this as a dimmer. This is just a dimmer. So okay, let's see what we can do with this Arduino. Um, I will connect it to the filter. So the middle port, the D5 port, will generate an LFO signal. So how does this sound? You can hear that the filter is being opened and closed according to the LFO signal that is being sent to the filter. So now what can we do? What parameters can we modify? Well, first of all, you have the, the rate control. If we press this button here, I'll put the keyboard on hold so it's continuously sending signals. We can adjust the rate of the LFO. I will enable my keyboard to send a continuous um, note that we can easily hear what is happening. So now I can control the rate, put it really slow, another parameter we have is the shape of the wave. So what I was sending now is I believe a sine wave. I can now also modify the wave shape. So this is a, a, a saw wave actually, so it rises very fast and then drops slowly. You can also make the inverse waveform. So now, it, so now the tone rises very slow and then drops very fast. So the filter opens slowly and then closes very fast. Or I can make a triangular wave. So we also have an ADSR, to use that I need to connect the trigger of my MIDI module to the trigger input on my Arduino, so I've mapped this as a trigger input. Um, I will set all the attack, decay and release to medium values and set the sustain to zero, so then I get this. So that's a pretty slow attack and decay, so I'll put it a little bit lower. It's already pretty fast. I 
can also set the sustain for example to a medium value then the filter stays open a little bit now if I want to hear the release part of the signal I have to add in some delay because otherwise there is no sound so there is nothing to hear uh, so I'll put the release uh, yeah, to a medium value increase the peak a little bit to make it more obvious So we can make pretty interesting sounds, for example if I set the attack to zero, uh, uh, the sustain also to zero, release to zero, I will set the delay off and now I will gradually increase the decay. So first my filter stays closed because there's no attack and no decay, now I will, I will increase the decay little by little. So this is a pretty nice techno sound. Um, what else can we do? I can invert the envelope. I think this is this button. I think this is this button. Set it to a high value. Oh no, that's the repeat. So I can also set the ADSR to repeat. I just enabled that function. So that basically it generates a triangle wave which you can set the attack and release time uh, using the ADSR parameters. I will turn this off now. And I will now enable the invert function. So now instead of opening and closing, it stays open and it closes for a short time. I will increase the attack and decay to make that more obvious. And even more obvious. Change the filter a bit. Turn off that function. So it's basically the inverse. And I also have the same offset, offset and um, bandwidth parameters that I have with the LFO. So for example, let's set the offset to middle. So then the filter will open and close over a more limited range. Uh, change the bandwidth. And that's basically it. So build it and enjoy.